Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now, John Paul Marx is the most senior civil servant in Scotland. He's responsible for all of the civil servants in Scotland. Ultimately, he is their boss. Uh, and he's having pressure put on him to ensure that party political uh, matters do not get uh, mixed in with governmental matters and that the government is not used to push party messages. For example, on independence, uh, he's being, uh, pre uh, you know, sort of basically pressurised into making sure that civil servants who work for the government are not being used to push things like independence, which is a party political matter, and is outside the remit and powers of the Scottish uh, administration. And therefore, no Scottish government money should be paid to Jamie Hebburn, his department, all those people and all those civil servants currently working on it. It should not be paying for the glossy brochures. Indeed, it needs all that money that's been spent so far, I think needs to be rounded up, added up, summed, create an invoice and hand that invoice to the SNP political party and get them to pay back to the government all the money that they have effectively misused, or let's call it what it is, stolen for party political means. But, of course, Jamie, uh, sorry, Jamie, <laughs> Jamie Hebben, JP Marks is now under the pressure to make sure that this happens and that his civil servants don't work for the party. Here goes. So, JP Marks urged to clamp down on SNP party political messaging being pushed by the civil service. Now, the civil, service, civil servants are there to push government policy, not party policy, and the two are definitely not the same. For example, and as we mentioned, independence cannot be a governmental matter because it is outside of their powers. So there should be no civil servants anywhere near anything to do with constitutional change, with independence, with anything like that. They just shouldn't be there. Now, he can deal with that. But of course, I think he is somewhat enthralled and enamoured and in the pocket of the SNP as well. Uh, and if that is the case, then he is not a fit and proper person to be the permanent secretary uh, for the, uh, the civil service. And he needs to go. If he is truly independent, as he claims, then he will have no problems at all pulling out all the civil servants, saying to the civil servants, you must not. And if you do, it is a firing matter if you work on any of the following areas and tell them where they must not work. Not where they should not work, where they may not work, but where they absolutely should not work. And then they've got it and everyone's got the message. And it only takes you to fire one or two. And the others will definitely say, no, you're on your own with that one. Shona Robinson is also under pressure to correct a claim that Scots pay less tax than others in the UK, which of course is quite clearly a load of horseshit. Uh, the Scottish uh, Conservatives accuse the administration of, of, well, they say pushing misleading claims, lying through their teeth. Liars, the SNP, who knew? There she is, Scotland's brightest woman. Scotland's top civil servant has been urged to clamp down on party political messaging being endorsed by the Scottish government. After officials were embroiled in a fake news row, we reported that an infographic published on the SNP administration's X account about funding had been blasted as misleading. And it seems that it was put there by civil servants. So civil servants are pushing party political matters and lying. Both of these things need to be investigated and the people responsible need to be fired. Scottish Conservative business spokesman Murdo Fraser has now written to John Paul Marks, the Permanent Secretary, raising concerns over the output. And it comes as pressure grows on Shona Robertson after she claimed Scots pay less in tax than others in the UK. And that's, you know, that's obviously wrong. In his letter to Mr Marks, Mr Fraser said, the statement used by the government was untrue. The post had claimed in the UK government's autumn statement only 10.8 million of extra funding was provided for NHS Scotland next year, a real terms cut which of course is not true. Um, in fact, it's not true because that, that 10.8 million is not true because when the funding is given over to Scotland, it's not told here's money for this and that and the other. It's told here's the money. It, how it's spent is up to the SNP. And so any claim that any particular spending allowance was cut 
is clearly a lie. But the SNP will lie to your face all the time. They've been caught out in lies so many times. But they have to lie because the truth is damaging. But they're lying to the, these people. Now, you get the SNP supporters going, oh, I know, you know, Westminster bastards and all this, right? blah, blah, blah. Because these people are so dumb, they believe the lies. You have to explain to them, stop being an idiot. Stop believing the lies you're being told. It's clearly lies because you, even you, even the SNP supporters wouldn't like the truth. And so you just prefer to believe the lie because it's easier to believe a lie than it is to face up to the fact that you've hitched your wagon, to, you've hitched your horse to the wrong wagon, as we say, and that you've done so for years. And so you think, oh God, I've been there for years. I can't come away now. I'll look foolish. No, you won't. Walking away, you look wise. It's remaining with them that makes you look foolish. Uh, anyway, Mr. Fraser writes, UK government budgets do not provide ring-fenced funding for specific policy areas in Scotland, just said. It now appears that the Scottish government's communications output is acting as an arm of the Scottish National Party. It is an entire part, entirely a party political uh, matter in nature. So the Scottish civil service are now the SNP civil service, aren't they? They're not for the Scottish Parliament, made up of all the parties in Parliament. It is purely an SNP civil service. People who put this up, the people who do this, need to be fired. They need, to, literally, they need to be fired. If they're, if they're pushing lies based on their own party political beliefs, they're not fit, proper people to be civil servants, which have to be impartial. Uh, in a statement, Mr Fraser said, this lie should not be propagated on a supposedly impartial Scottish government platform. He said, the SNP, and more especially the Scottish government, have to stop blatantly misleading the public. Stop saying misleading, lying to, lying to. Call them what they are, liars. As Shona Robertson herself admitted just five days ago, it's up to the Scottish ministers how they allocate the £545 million in Barnet consequentials. £223 million this year, £320 million next year, stemming from the Chancellor's autumn statement. This tweet would be dodgy spin coming from the SNP but for a simply untrue claim to be made on a Scottish government platform run by supposedly impartial servants, it is simply unacceptable. Of course it is, but the SNP have inveigled themselves into so many aspects. Law, justice, the police, the civil service, everything. They're like a cancerous tumour growing throughout the body of the country. And you have to cut the tendrils of the cancer off. And if that means firing people, and firing a lot of people, then so be it. Fire anyone who's worked on these things. You're fired. Done. You're fired. You can't be trusted. Done. Can't be trusted. Done. Out, 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 out. Now, that does two things. One, it gets rid of the cancerous SNP from the civil service. And two, it acts as a warning to every other branch of government that it will not be tolerated and that can only help the, the, the entire country. The Tory finance spokeswoman Liz Smith has also called on Miss Robertson to apologise after claiming Scots pay less tax than they would in England. The finance secretary who will announce her budget, who has just announced her budget, will be making the claim, uh, made the claim, I'm sorry, on last Sunday's uh, Sunday show. The Conservatives say the median annual salary in Scotland is now 29675 while anyone earning more than 27850 pays more in income tax. And so Miss Robertson's claims are demonstrably untrue. Again, lies upon lies upon lies. They cannot help themselves. Lying is in their DNA. Lying is in their very nature. Uh, Scottish Government have been approached for comment, but comment came there none, because what are they going to say? Yes, we're terribly sorry for telling all these lies, or yes, we're terribly sorry for corrupting the civil service, or yes, we're terribly sorry for exposing the bill, the, the, the money of all the people of Scotland for our own past political ends. But hey, we're the SNP, we can do what we like and there is no legal recourse, because we own the police and we own the justice system, and no one will ever prosecute us because we're above the law. That's not what they're going to say, even though it is, as we all know, the truth. I'm coming up and we'll round off the video. So it is from this point that we see if JP Marks is, as he claims, independent, or if he will not do anything at all because he's so corrupted by the influence of the SNP. I think we all know what the answer will be. He, of course, is a true SNP man. He's their lapdog. 
their pet. And he's quite happy for a supposedly independent civil service to push past political messaging. The trouble is, when the next government gets in, it's Labour. You'll have a Labour government being resisted at every, at every point by an SNP civil service. Perhaps Labour need to uh, expunge and clean the swamp the moment they get in. Fire everyone. Just say to the civil service, no, we just want every current civil service in Scotland gone and we want them replaced. Send them all over the country. We just want fresh ones untainted with the corruption and the cancer of the SNP. Or just plain fire them because they're, they're not fit for purpose. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please uh, stick around. We've got lots more videos today. Definitely hit the subscribe button, though. We're getting close. We're getting close to that 9,000 target, and it'd be great to have that before Christmas. Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Bye.